Renton Academy Rock Coppers and the Super Brain Nacho Ninjas. I'm excited to film my second video today and I'm going to read you a story. So the book that I chose to read to you is called When Sophie Gets Angry. Really, really angry. And this book is about Sophie and what she does when she's mad. I want you to think about a time that you felt mad or angry since you've been at home. And by the way, once again, I have a friend here to listen to the story. So think about that time that you were really, really angry. And what did you do? How did you handle those angry feelings? How did you show that you were angry? Were you able to calm down? Well, we're gonna be talking about that today. And at the end of this book, I would love to hear what you thought. So I'm gonna read it and then you can comment below and I'll read your comments or you can have your family send me a message. They know how to get a hold of me. So let's read. When Sophie Gets Angry, Really, Really Angry by Molly Bang. The book probably looks backwards to you. Um, not quite sure how to fix that, so we're just gonna make do. When Sophie gets angry, really, really angry, by Molly Bang. Sophie was busy playing when her sister grabbed Gorilla my turn. No, said Sophie. Yes, said her mother. It is her turn now, Sophie. As her sister snatched Gorilla away, Sophie fell over the truck. Oh, is Sophie ever angry now? I bet you can imagine where Sophie is on the big deal scale. Maybe at like a 9 or a 10. She's feeling pretty mad. Let's see what she does to handle those feelings. She kicks. She screams. She wants to smash the world to smithereens. Smash! Look at that. She is showing that she's angry. She roars a red, red roar. Look at that coming out of her mouth. Sophie is a volcano ready to explode. And when Sophie gets angry, really, really angry. Look, it says, explode. She runs. Ba-bam! She runs and runs and runs until she can't run anymore. I wonder if some of you feel like running when you're angry, running away or hiding. Then, for a little while, she cries. Now she sees the rocks, the trees, and ferns. She hears a bird. She comes to the old beech tree. She climbs. Oh, I think some of you like to climb. She feels the breeze blow her hair. She watches the water and the waves. Hmm, I want you to think about how is she feeling now? Is she still at a nine or a 10 on the big deal scale? What do you think? The wide world comforts her. Sophie feels better now. She climbs back down. 
and heads for home. I don't know if you can see, but Sophie now has a smile on her face. I would say she's probably at a three at a, or a four on the big deal scale. She's feeling better. The house is warm and smells good. I'm home. Everyone is glad she's home. Everything's back together again. And Sophie isn't angry anymore. Look at the picture she's painting. I know sometimes when I paint, I start to feel better too. Maybe that's something that makes you feel better. What is it that you notice Sophie painting? I see her family in a house. What else do you notice? The tree. She's painting the tree that helped her calm down. I know when I'm feeling really angry, sometimes I want to escape and get away from whatever it is that was making me angry. A lot of times I come in here and I read some books. Things that help me calm down, things that make me feel more at peace. So I want to know, what do you do when you're angry at home? Do you have a special place? What do you do? I would love for you to draw a picture, just like Sophie, of what place calms you down? When you're feeling angry, where do you want to go? Sophie likes to climb into this big birch tree. I like to come into this room and look at books, maybe hug some stuffies. Those are things that make me happy. So color some pictures. Have your family send it to me. I would love to see your pictures of what makes you calm. And maybe next time I'll share them on a video. Now I want to remind you, when we're at Renton Academy, you take PTOs when you're upset. You might make a PTO card at home. Cut out a piece of paper, write the letters P-T-O, and use that when you need a break. Explain to your family that this card shows that I need a personal time out. I need a break. And it is okay to take breaks. I know things are different right now. You might be having some hard feelings, but know that you can still take breaks or personal timeouts, PTOs, wherever you are. All right, the last thing I wanna share with you are some of the coloring pages that I was able to do. I know I sent them home with you and I showed them on my last video, but I started coloring my penguins. Look, using those colored pencil techniques that we practiced in class, I started layering the different colors. And you can see I really finished this one and I'm working my way this way. I decided my penguins are gonna be purple and then I'm layering some pink colors as well. Have you colored your pictures? If so, have your family send me a picture of them. I would love to see. All right, I miss all of you. I can't wait until the moment that we can be together again, but until then, I'm gonna be making more videos. All right, have a good rest of your week, Rock Hoppers, and I'll see you later.